basically the legal field is a bit slower, a bit more bureaucratic. LS, this has been true for the LSAC. This is true for the ABA. And so they're kind of the last ones to come to this test optional idea in terms of they've been kicking it around for a while, but finally it seems like it's actually going to go through. So this most recent recommendation by the American Bar Association's Strategic Review Committee has been to go forward and modify Standard 503, which is the rule that requires they use an exam and say, law schools, you are, of course, allowed to use an exam for your consideration of applicants, but you are not required to do so. So this is the idea that's been proposed. It has not yet been enacted. There is a period of consideration where people can submit comments and then they will review those comments. But my guess is that it's going to go through. And when it does, very little may actually change because as we're seeing in these other contexts, schools find these exams useful as a yeah. benchmark from which to evaluate different candidates given grade inflation, like we talked about. I do think that if the ABA goes through with this measure, which they almost certainly will, then law schools, I think the top ones will still want to see either some kind of standardized test score. They will probably prefer the LSAT. They will give it more weight. It's a more competitive pool of people. 